Deputy Pauline Tully. Well, as my colleagues have stated, Sinn Féin will be supporting this bill, which is transposing EU directives that will help in the fight against fraud, and that will be in the financial interests of the EU and, by extension, Ireland. And it is welcome that this bill tackles further aspects of white-collar crime, corruption and fraud of public money. But the EU sources of income include contributions from member countries, and it is right that we try and ensure that every single euro of the EU budget is spent for its intended purposes. And it is critical that we have good uh, cooperation across the EU when it comes to tackling areas of fraud, including public money. And I think for citizens to be confident that their money is being properly used, the European Union needs to protect its financial interests. And this legislation will provide for the transposition of the remaining elements of the anti-fraud EU directive to strengthen the fight against fraud to the Union's fiscal interest by means of criminal law. Uh, if I may just, uh, just relate to some issues that have come up in my local areas, a slightly deviation of, of the, the bill, but I mean, there have been a spate of robberies, Minister, in my locality in recent times, which has left people feeling obviously very insecure and uh, it's an invasion of privacy and some of them here feel that the burglars returning. So while I can understand the stolen cash can be difficult to trace unless someone who has no means suddenly seems to have a lot of money on them. However, many of the people have said that they have had jewellery stolen, um, sometimes of great value, sometimes mainly of, sent of sentimental value. There's also been farm theft, um, workman's tools, bicycles. And I'm just wondering, are the regulations strong enough on the resale of these items? Are pawn shops um, doing enough to ensure that the jewellery, for example, that they receive into their shop is actually coming from the legitimate owner and not for, by stolen from somebody else? Um, I mean... A lot of this is linked to the number of Garda in rural areas being insufficient, and we've seen many Garda stations closed. A, no, a small number of Garda are being asked to cover a much wider area. Um, like one community in uh, Drumcondret in County Mead have contacted me recently, and they feel very much abandoned by the Garda. They feel that um, there's been a break-in there recently, carried out by someone who was already out on bail, but the Garda seem reluctant to deal with this person, and in fact, to the extent that the people in the community wondered had this individual ever been arrested for the initial offence. Um, I did contact Minister McEntee about this issue before Christmas, and I'm disappointed that I haven't even got an acknowledgement, never mind a reply. She lives quite near this area, even though it's in my constituency. Um, but I think a bigger effort needs to be made to keep the community informed of what's happening in relation to crime and also to extend the number of Garda covering rural areas. Um, I know there's also an amendment to this bill today on pets as well. And just to say briefly that, you know, it seems to have been happening throughout COVID that a lot of dogs were being stolen. Um, it was commonplace throughout the country and it's extremely distressing to families who have lost a pet as they're like part of the family. Um, I'm not sure if it fits into sackling to this amendment, but uh, it is something that needs to be dealt with. Dogs are being um, stolen for breeding purposes or to be sold on for exorbitant amounts of money, and it's totally unfair. Um, genuine pet lovers now attempting to secure a dog are unable to do so because of the lack of availability or the exorbitant pr uh, prices being charged. So something needs to be done to tackle that issue as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Deputy.